All right, now we can get started. I uh, want to thank everyone for, uh, for coming out today. You, everyone should have gotten handouts uh, for the class. Okay. Um, so today's class, uh, we're going to be doing. Let me close this door. So I'm not too uh, today's class uh, that we're doing is on Podio, and Podio is a. It, it was tough to describe for the description uh, that we put in the Nibri newsletter because this product is so many different things to so many different people. So uh, we, we try to describe it as best we could, but we didn't do it justice by any means. Um, Podio is a online software platform. Lindsay calls it an online task management tool. Um, I call it more of a online workspace platform. And what it allows you to do is almost anything you want to do. Organize information, collect information, um, have tasks going on between different groups of people. Um, it's very, it's a multifaceted kind of tool. It's, it's fascinating. Um, we started using it for our company actually um, back around December of last year, November, December, and, and we really loved it. Um, it's, a, it's a very flexible kind of tool, and Lindsay's going to show us today uh, up on the screen, you know, how you, how you can get started with this product, how you can use it. Um, there's a free version, there's a paid version. She'll go over some of those differences uh, with everyone. Uh, so we'll get into that uh, very shortly. Um, our company, FireLogic, if you haven't been in one of our classes, we're a local technology consulting uh, company here in the area. Um, we do a lot of classes with the Park Ridge and Niles Libraries. Uh, this is just one of our free events that we're doing this summer. Um, we're doing, uh, we have a, a Gmail for beginners class coming up as well. If you don't know how to use the, uh, the uh, Gmail uh, free email platform that Google offers, completely free uh, for everyone. We're going to be doing a class on that uh, at Park Ridge Library uh, on July 16th. All you have to do is sign up for it and you can come on out and, and, and see that class. There's a lot of changes that Gmail has been going through over the last few months. So uh, we like redoing this class every half year or so because there's a lot of new things that uh, we want to show off for people. Uh, we're also going to be doing a, a little bit later in July, we're doing a, a Office 2013 class. Uh, so if you have picked up the new version of Office or you're thinking about doing it, we're going to show off what uh, new features are in the platform, um, what different things you might be able to leverage, uh, you know, should you get it, should you just hold on to your older version of Office. Uh, so we'll go over all those different things uh, at that particular class. And our Open Tech Help Desk, we do that every single month. Uh, we tried one over here in February. We're planning on extending it here as well. But at Park Ridge Library, you don't have to be a Park Ridge Library um, card holder. Uh, second Saturday of every month, we offer from 9 a.m. to noon, completely free to, uh, open help. So if you have any computer questions, you have any questions about Podio after you learn about it today, come on in, come see us. Our next two events are, are shown right up there on the, cam on the, uh, on the slide. Um, but uh, like I said, second Saturday of every month, we are there, or at least myself or one of my colleagues or a few of my colleagues, uh, we are, we're there to, to help you with any questions or computer problems you have. You can bring your laptop, your tablet, your smartphone, and we'll help you free of charge for three hours. Okay? All right, I'm gonna let, uh, let Lindsay take over. All right, do you wanna turn down the lights a little bit more? Yeah, yeah I'll, turn, I'll turn it down. Okay, so what is Podio? <laughs> um, like Derek said, it's very difficult to describe simply because Podio is anything and everything at the same time. It's, um, like he said, I like to describe it as an online task management tool um, as well as a way to organize um, like anything that you want to work on. Um, all online, you can access it from anywhere um, if you have a smartphone or a tablet. Um, so the reason why Podio is anything and everything is because you build the workspace um, that you would like to use rather than having a pre-formatted template um, of an organizational tool 
that you know you have spaces that you may need spaces that you don't need spaces that you um, don't have but you do need and there's no way to add them or subtract them and edit it to the way that you need it to use um, but with Podio you can do that and that's the wonder behind Podio and what makes it so difficult to describe um, with Podio uh, it replaces the email concept um, it's kind of like a social network tool but not really um, it's real time so people can comment um, collaborate there's a new feature called chat where it's kind of like an instant message um, so everything is real time if you use email right now to work with people you know that you know reply all and you know you reply to one person and then another person doesn't see it or you have to sift through you know so many different threads to get to one email that you need and um, you know there's just like one piece of information that you need and it's difficult to find um, as well as like I said an organizational platform um, you can store a ton of different information in one spot that can be easily accessed by many people or just yourself or even just shared with um, certain people okay. so what can you use Podio for so here is only a few examples um, so right now for FireLogic we use it for contact organization um, we don't do specifically order tracking but we do um, service call tracking um, project collaboration so if we're working on a website um, our website team can collaborate with each other um, in a situation like that we can definitely share um, the information that's on the Podio website with a potential client so that they can see what we're doing um, we've talked to someone who use it, uses it from family medical records um, so then it's all stored in one spot um, you know like the husband and wife or whoever needs it can access it um, share it with family members if you need to uh, wedding planning that's something that I'm going to show you guys how to do um, simply because there's so many different aspects to wedding planning and I think that because of that it's such a good way to show you all the different things that you can do with Podio um, party and event planning um, vehicle records I started um, a Podio workspace for my car so then whenever I go to this to the shop or something like that I can just upload um, any sort of records or receipts things like that recipes um, house hunting and customer feedback and like I said that's only a few things um, okay so Podio membership overview there is both a free version and a paid version so the difference between this is that in a free version you get five internal members and five external members free. Um, what an internal member is is somebody who has a domain name. So for instance, FireLogic has the FireLogic website and anybody who works for FireLogic gets a FireLogic email. So you know, name at firelogic.net. So if you sign up using um, an email with a donate domain um, ending that would be considered an internal member and then anybody you add that has the same ending is considered an internal member for an external member it's um, someone who has just like a generic kind of like gmail um, yahoo email so not someone with a specific donate domain um, all members are able to create workspaces and apps um, and there's no overall administrator. Um, all members have the same permission, um, and I'll describe that in a second. Um, and then with a premium membership, uh, you can have unlimited internal and external members. Um, you only pay for internal users, so you can invite anybody from outside the company um, into your workspace, and you won't pay for them. Uh, which is nice. Uh, it has organization administrators, so that means, and light users. So what that means is there's three types of users, a light, 
um, an admin member or an admin and what is regular. it? Regular. Regular. Um, so depending on what kind of user you set, the person that you add to the workspace or the organization is what kind of permissions they can have. So can they edit an app? Can they create a workspace? Can they create an app? And um, we're going to discuss that later, um, what exactly those things are. But um, with the paid membership, you can have more flexibility as to how you want to, um, what you want to allow the person to do. And then also you can remove users from your organization. With the free membership, the person has to um, remove themselves from the organization, which could be a little tricky um, down the line if that's an issue for you, but not always. Okay. So I keep talking about organizations and workspaces and apps and so what does this all mean? And how does it come together to create what I need to do? Okay. So this is the structure, this is how Podio is structured. So right here you have the organization. And what an organization is, um, in when you discuss Podio you um, consider an organization like a company, um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a company. It could be a family, it could be, you know, like the couple who's planning the wedding, um, just whoever is the owner of it. Um, and then you have the workspaces. So the workspaces fall underneath the organization and it's like a topic of what the organization wants to cover. Right, so it's kind of broad, kind of like um, if you have a binder, for instance, let's say this is a binder. So the organization is the binder, the actual binder. And then the workspaces are the tabs in the binder. So then you get into the tabs, and then you have specific pieces of paper, right? So the apps are these specific pieces of paper. Um, the app is going to be more specific. It's going to have all the content. Um, better organized um, even further and um, and then in each app there's the item and the item is that specific thing that you want to organize like a line item okay so let's take a look at um, what we can do with Podio